the first in a series that I'll be doing intermittently and I will be introducing guests and I call them guests from my C list. So this is my first C guest list. And you'll be wondering back, is, um, what is the C? Well, folks, let me tell you, anybody who has gone into my C guest list is somebody that I find captivating, man. Show some love for that. <laughs> <laughs> anybody who's on my C guest list is captivating, and trust me, anybody who captivates me, I'm sure is captivating most people nationally. This guy, very, very unassuming, brilliant. He's a broadcaster, he's a communicator, he's an economist, he's... Let me keep quiet now. Put your hands together. Show some love for Bernard Avle. Bernardo, how are you doing, man? I'm just loving it. Oh, man, you're the first. This is my first. On your seal list. Oh, just a, yeah. Oh, I'm a big man. Oh, no, 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 you're a big man. You're on my seal list. You know? Really? Yeah. Charlie. So every now and then you hear me being um, somebody on KSM C list and trust me wow. when you're on my C list I know Charlie, it's a national you. C list Charlie, thank you. I, hope, I hope to keep my body <laughs> so welcome man thank you KSM Chief, you are doing well we're going to, today is just me the C list people is just me and them nobody else has come so today we're going to have a chat man wow but, but you're doing well man let me tell you maybe you didn't know and maybe you haven't told mm -hmm. but I'm telling you when it comes to Radio, mm. right now you're the king, man. You mean numero uno? <laughs> <laughs> numero uno. Numero <laughs> uno. More fun. Man, More fun. You're, you're ruling the morning. Wow. And and I'm wow. impressed with the mm. the, 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 the in-depth research, mm. the the intelligent questioning, mm. the preparation. Wow, wow. Charlie. It's, you know, you, you, it's a teamwork. It's a, yeah. it's a, I mean, you know, people hear us as the hosts. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot that happens. Yeah, can you, you know this? You know yeah. this. Yeah. Don't forget, I've been on radio for 19 years. Actually, mm -hmm. no, 2000. So 18. Yeah. So I've done this four years as a student. Mm. So and you know, radio is my life. Mm. Radio is my first love mm. in terms of my career. So it's passion, it's strong leadership, and it's teamwork. And then also, no, you don't know it all. So mm. every, knowing you don't know it all. Yeah. Every day. So people are like, ah, every day you're on radio. Don't you get tired? I'm like every day is different. Mm -hmm. Like, don't you mm -hmm. get tired of doing the same thing? No two days are the same. the same. No two shows are the same. No two guests are the same. Mm. So I can discuss the same topic on three different days and it will be handled differently. Wow. So I, and I need to also say that we are lucky because look, KSM, if I were born in 1950, mm. I would be doing this job. Mm. Mm. We didn't have liberalized airwaves. Mm -hmm. So when I went to university, there was universe to train me. When I finished university, there was city. So you started at a universe. Take yes. us back there. Oh, how God. Did you, how did you fall in love with radio at university? Uh, this story is always there. So in 2000, my first semester, a friend called uh, Staga invited me to come on D, uh, DJ Black show on Radio Universe. They called mm. it Weekend Teaser. So they had this debate segment Friday 2 to 4. So the last 30 minutes, we'll do a debate. So they had a topic, myself and a lady, a, a gay girl, Araba Sam Anan, and we're discussing mm. men and women who are more promiscuous. Mm. So he will open the thing, I'll talk, Araba will talk, then open the phone lines. Okay. So giddy, 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 <laughs> fresh from uh, secondary school. When they opened the phone lines, I got only one call supporting me. So I lost the debate. <laughs> but but the, 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 the station people said, Charlie, they, they, they like your fire. They so like the fire. Even though you lost the debate. I lost the debate and I got a job. So they took me on as a volunteer broadcast journalist in, I think, September 2000-ish or mm. sometime like that. Mm. Mm. So for four years, Alaji Abubakar, Sadiq Ahmed, Francis Ankara and co. trained me. And I sort of discovered that this was what I was supposed to do. Hmm. So Really? Yeah. So that's when, what, what was it? What would you, was this flowing naturally? You know, when you go to secondary school, you want to be an economist, you want to be a doctor, you don't know what you are saying. When I got on radio, I realized, number one, I had the passion for it. Hmm. I liked it. Hmm. And I was good at it. I could write stories. You could send me to go and do an interview and I wouldn't eat and I'll be happy to wait for the interview. Wow. So there's a kind of thing, if you don't pay me, they weren't even paying us, but it was a training ground. We liked it. So I feel having that opportunity to work in that segment, and we're all students. Hmm. We're doing campus politics, reporting on mm -hmm. all kinds of things. So it was no way back after that. After, after four years of training, when I finished CTFM was starting, I did national service there and the rest, as they say, is history.
Okay. So, yeah. so you finished university and city was what you went to uh, city for your. In fact, even my economics dissertation was on universe. It was radio. So oh, wow. it was almost like a divine plan. So I was wow. national service at CTFM August 2004 because I graduated in May 2004. Mm -hmm. And then CTFM started officially, if you want, in November 2004. So I was one of their first uh, people. Mm -hmm. And I've been with the station since national service. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I, I, so I was having a conversation with somebody and they were talking about uh, what they liked about City was that yeah. when they came up, they didn't go poaching at all. already established. At they all. just started with people yes. and groomed them and turned them into... We still do that because, you see, poaching distorts the market. Hmm. In every market, if you have salaries and uh, wages, we need to pay people better in media, I agree. But if you, if you pick somebody and you introduce a culture of... I will attract you with money. Mm. You know media is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Media is passion. Mm -hmm. Media is public service. Mm -hmm. So even if you're working in private media, every journalist in the world should be motivated by something more than money. Mm. Now, if I recruit you and I say, I'm going to pay you twice what somebody's paying you, mm. it, it, it's good to pay people well, but it doesn't send the right signal. I see. Because we follow stories at the risk of our lives. A lot mm. of journalists across the world work at the peril of their lives. If my first introduction to media is money, I've laid a wrong foundation. Wow. So we think that if you get people who are young, and young people are the best, what we've built at City has been built on the backs of young people. Mm. The average age at City is 25, 26. Wow. They are passionate, wow. they are intelligent, they are bold. So the passion is the key. Yes. And in this country, if you are 50 years, you are still a small boy mm. in certain areas. But in media, it's not like that. No. So I'm 37, and I'm one of the oldest in the station. Mm. So we have no doubt in our mind that poaching is not our way. We groom people, we train them on the job, as I was trained. And even if we leave media, the skills you get and then the national understanding of your national context and knowing that you are part of something bigger, I think that stays with you for a long time. Wow. That's it, yeah. That's it. That's it. Because the, the, the guys said it, it drew my mind to it, you know, that... Yeah. So what I like about it, they don't put you, they take you and then they go and say, oh, really? Yeah. Come to think of it, that's true. Yeah, that's our wow. model. That's our, but you know this, the media is very difficult because the yeah. business itself is going through transition. You know, we've gotten a bank collapse and some media houses that depend dead on the finances mm -hmm. are, yeah. are really struggling. What, people ask me, how can media be more effective? A couple of things. We need better content. So like what you're doing, even though you don't own a TV station, we need people like you, independent producers, to bring in content. We also need visionary leadership. People like Kwesi Chum and Co. who understand that, mm -hmm. Nikamati, if you, media is not just a tool for political power, mm -hmm. but a tool for shaping society. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, we need professional practitioners. Mm -hmm. People who give their best in doing their stories, hosting their shows. So if you have great ownership, if you have good content and then you have professional practice, that triangle is difficult to break. Mm. And I think one of the problems we have in Ghana is that a lot of the owners don't understand what they are doing. Exactly. A and exactly. Not, there isn't enough space for independent, well-produced content. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to produce their own mm -hmm. content. That's difficult. And then, of course, the practitioners, a lot of them are not well-trained. So a lot of them are not professional in the way they do their job. They don't apply themselves well. Now, if you have a team of professional people, even if your ownership is political, mm. he can't push you to leave your objectivity. So I think that the most important thing is having professional practitioners who stand for something. That's how standards can rise. And then we can use media to change the mindsets. Because KSM, in Ghana and many parts of the world, if you want to change society, you need many pillars. The pillar of education is important. Mm -hmm. The pillar of religion is important or faith. Mm -hmm. More importantly now, we have the pillar of media because you can enlighten by entertaining. For example, what you're doing, even though you're entertaining us, you're enlightening us. You're bringing people, somebody's doing a new shoe, somebody's coding, somebody's excelling. You don't need to always make it like lectures on yeah. New Year's school. Yeah. No, yeah. people want to be entertained. People want to watch Kung Kung Bajia. Let them watch it. But when you, when you watch Kung Kung Bajia, you are telling them that they have to be like the Indian. So what you need to do is to produce something that is entertaining for escape but also lets them know that black people are sensible. So we need to now re re regain the space of culture. So you produce, so if you produce, for example, a telenovela, it tells you somebody can be born in Kukrain to me with the same story you have, go to America and come back and produce world-class content that the BBC will serialize. 
When somebody who's 14 watches that and says, I can also become KSM. But if all you show them is Isora, yeah. uh, Nippon, something on... You, you, know, you are telling no, them I get that you, man. you need to be... No, no, no. I get you. I get you. So, so yes. the media yeah. is what it takes, I think. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. That's yeah. that, that that's phenomenal. Cause yeah. That's that's my thinking, you know. Yeah. They're watching the thing. They're getting entertained. And they're getting educated. But it's not just educational. Yeah. It's education that is ingraining something to them that is beneficial to their country. It's, it's, like, themselves. it's like when I was young, if, if my mom wants to give me chloroquine or camoquine, I don't like it. Yeah. But sometimes they lace it with something sweet. Yeah. Or a, you call it a bomb belt. <laughs> the real yeah. bitter substance is inside. Yeah. But when you take it with water, you feel you are taking something. And I feel that we, in trying to change the minds of the African, we shouldn't say we should only do serious programs. It's mm -hmm. not just news. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the people who, who watch TV, yeah. I mean, if I'm a market woman and I'm sitting in Makola, I don't want to watch Bernard Avila interviewing Setekbe. It's too hard. <laughs> Even though it's good. It's for, good yeah. But she wants to watch something for escape. Now, that escape is also a route for changing her mind. So we, we think that it's only we, the book long people, who can change minds. So we always do press conference type events. Mm -hmm. Hard, pro no, let people be entertained, but let them believe in themselves. Mm. And I think that if we get the media right, if we get education right, and if we get faith right, I prefer faith to religion because religion is, is some way. Yeah, religion if we get so, faith yeah, right, because yeah. we have a lot of wrong beliefs. Yeah. For example, today I was on there, somebody said, Oh, thing for you never lost. So it's not true. Thing for you never lost. Eh? What, what? Uh, like, you know, when we we're young, we used to say that if something is for you, it's always uh, yours, you will not lose it. <laughs> or they, they said, uh, What? Uh, it, it's almost like there's this deterministic view that God is in control. Yeah. God is in control, but he also sets rules that you have to play to. Yeah. So we are, we are, we are trained to, to believe that because God is in control, we don't yeah. have any role to play. Exactly. And it's wrong. That, that is the danger. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, 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 I so agree with you, you yeah. know. And I'll talk to young men. Oh, how did you do this? Oh, by his grace. By, I say, yeah, fine. I know that, the, you know. But you woke up very early in the morning. You worked hard. Yes. I'll give you a nice scripture. We're not in preaching, but I'll give you a nice. So, so <laughs> Paul said, I am the least of all the apostles mm -hmm. because I persecuted the church. Mm -hmm. This is first or second Corinthians. He says, Nevertheless, not I, but the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But I worked harder than all of them. Mm. Yet not I, by the grace of God. What does it mean? Is the grace we know God's grace is good, but I say He worked harder than everybody yes. else. So the grace of God alone cannot make you excellent. Yeah. So He He, he says, even though it was the grace of God, He outworked everybody else. You, you get me? Yeah. So yeah. We, we are given yeah. a half baked theology. Mm -hmm. Oh, nyami beye, nyami beye, nyami aye. But say yes, we or oh, right. I say yes, we are your Reverend Avle, man. Who wants to be for Reverend Avle? <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, and, and so uh, universe then to city, yes. And the whole concept of grooming, yes. And and that the whole bit, yeah. fantastic, yes. fantastic. Yes. So did you did you right now? Like I said earlier on, I mean you 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 have a team, you know, but you can have a solid team, but the anchor. Mm. Who's mm. putting the whole, you know, who's putting the whole thing together and presenting it can be very, very weak. Mm. That you wouldn't even believe that they had such a strong team. Yeah. So you are there, and I think your 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 strong face as well. Mm -hmm. Thank God, also yeah. a very strong team. Yeah. 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 Did you, Did you see yourself like I? You know, when I was in secondary school, I was part of the Quiz Writers and Debaters Club, and I remember Mrs. Champon who taught us public speaking, you used to teach us things like control and how to utilize your emotion effectively to make a point. Mm. And she used to say, look, you have it, but you need to take your time, relax. Mm. My, my point is that I've always been argumentative. Mm. I've always wanted to put across a point, but it was working in media with a team that taught me how to more effectively advocate Mm. Now, that advocacy means that there are times you have to argue, but there are times you have to listen. There are times you have to let other people do their work. There are times you have to speak and take leadership. So for me, actually, this whole media thing is a journey into leadership. Mm. Because to lead in media, you have to also learn how to lead yourself. Mm. So what I'm saying is that even though I have a team that I work with, I have to show leadership. Yeah. 
I have to be strategic in thinking about what works today. Is it to, are we going to follow what's running on the newspapers today? Or are we going to go the opposite track? I have to show leadership. So when, for example, journalists are beaten, I have to take on the system and mm -hmm. say if the MPP does not issue a proper statement, we will not cover their programs. Leadership is not just talking. You have to lead. Now, that doesn't mean you always have, you always have to be the one they see, but there are times you have to show leadership. Mm -hmm. So for me, the media work we do is also a journey in leadership because leadership is influence. Mm -hmm. We are saying that, for example, we think Galamse is destroying our water bodies. We have to show leadership, do the research, advocate, go out in the streets, let people see the effect of Galamse. They want to introduce a toll levy. We've done the research. It doesn't make sense. We are, so media is not just mm. passive mm. reportage. Mm. Because mm. you are privileged to have access to mm. information and power, you must use that information and power to sometimes take on courses. Mm. So mm. we... we uh, you uh, don't report the agenda. You set, no. you set so, the agenda. So uh, uh, Tanko of Stagana calls it campaigning journalism. Campaigning journalism. And he calls it social accountability. So where we in the media... So sometimes we are very, very... Um, how shall I say, opinionated. Mm -hmm. We believe that certain policies are wrong. They don't make sense based on all the information we have. So when you're doing the interview, you will not be passive. We will not simply say, come and share your view here. Yeah. So we can yeah. actively take a position sometimes in the public interest. It is our job. We, we, because this, I, and again, every era requires the kind of media you should do. 100 years ago, 50 years ago, we were building a nation from the beginning. So the media was supposed to unify and bring pass mm -hmm. on information. Mm -hmm. Now we have choices. So we need to take a position because we know that we are in a big fight as Africans and as Ghanaians. Our economic model is not working. Mm. So we can't simply support everything the government says. We, we, we can't become just a mouthpiece for the government. No. Mm. We have to take on the government when they are wrong. Mm. And we also take on the establishment, which includes the opposition. So when, when people want political power, we must subject their policies to strict proof. Okay, so for me, I'm very clear what media is supposed to be used for. It's a tool for shaping the society. Mm. So as the government and the establishment do what they do, we provide the right information. So we are, we are three things. We are gatekeepers. We are also the scorekeeper, right? Mm. And then we set the agenda. As, so we decide what must be discussed, free SHS. But we also keep the score. You gave promises. You said Accra will be the cleanest city in Africa. Well, it's 18 months into your administration. Mm -hmm. Hello, what's going on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, we are gatekeepers. We are scorekeepers. And then we're also a platform for the voiceless. So if somebody, a couple of days ago, a young man who was shot by some soldier when he was 13, he's now 22, no compensation. We must give him a voice, right? Because what we also do is balance power. People in power, they use the access to resources to keep the poor downtrodden. Mm. So the media must also give a platform, not just to politicians. So ordinary market women, people who sell, that's how you balance power because the whole thing is about balance. So I am very clear what media has to be used for. Mm -hmm. So for me, even if you are my competitor, you need to be excellent. Because I realize that if all the stations that compete with us raise their game, mm -hmm. it will force me to be better. Mm -hmm. So I don't want all the best people to come to city. It doesn't make sense. I'll struggle too much. So, <laughs> no, it's true. So Star, XYZ, Joy, they all Joy, have to do yeah. better. Yeah, so, that, the game, yeah. so that if the, if the minister runs from me, he'll go and collide with the other person who also deal with him. So that, that's, that's my personal philosophy about what media should be used for and how, how it should be covered. Amazing, amazing. And it's getting so fascinating. I'm going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, okay. there's going to be more of more fire. my C guest. Put your hands together for... <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>